Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, January 20th, 2020. Free pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, if you've yet to uh, get signed up and become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, it's a real cool way to do it. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and then use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. Again, it is a free $60 account, and to get started, you click on the link below the video in the description box. All right, let's talk about real quickly what happened yesterday. We had a real nice bounce back Sunday after a week Saturday. Came back on Sunday, and we went 4-1. and one. That included a sweep in the NFL. We had the 7-star on the 49ers, and we also had the over between Tennessee and KC. So uh, a nice day on Sunday going 4-1 and one overall. Also cashed in NBA with the Spurs, which made it a weekend sweep for us in the NBA. Uh, split overall in college basketball, one with South Dakota. Anyway, 4-1 and one day overall yesterday. Now it's time to look ahead get to Monday's card. I've got two NBA plays on Monday and one of them uh, for sure is a daytime game and uh, it's MLK Day. There's a pl plenty of action going on during the day games and uh, we do have a play in one of the early games on Monday, part of a 2-0 package in the NBA as we look to build off of the weekend sweep. As far as everything else, uh, check out our college basketball page after 11.30 a.m. Eastern for a potential play in college basketball. But for sure right now as we cut this video, two plays, two sides in Monday's NBA. And again, don't forget a bunch of day action with it being the holiday MLK day. All right, let's get to our free pick for today. Oh, real quick before I get to the free pick. Uh, as far as the current number in the Super Bowl on February 2nd, we're looking at Kansas City laying a point in most spots now. A one-point favorite over San Francisco and the total sitting at 53 and a half. Now, from everything I've heard from sportsbook operators uh, around Southern Nevada and offshore is that they did take a little bit of early ticket action, more than 50%, upwards of about 55% on the Chiefs, but they also got decent enough action on San Francisco monetarily. What they jumped on, as far as the betters were concerned, was the total. They jumped on the over. It opened, you know, 51 and a half and I was a little surprised by that. I thought it would open a couple of points higher. After all, it is the Super Bowl, and the public loves to bet the over. Well, we saw a lot of uh, one-sided action on the total, and that total's gone from, I saw, as low as 51, 51 and a half, all the way up to as high as 53 and a half as I cut this video. So no shocker there that they got overs as far as the bets were concerned uh, on the total. And again, the action has been pretty good two-way action so far between the Niners and Chiefs by all reports. All right, let's get to the free pick for Monday in college basketball. It's a clash in the ACC between NC State and Virginia. The Cavaliers, hey, listen, shop around because the Cavaliers are laying four in some shops, four and a half in others as I cut this video. Uh, but NC State, listen, they got one day basically to figure out this nasty, stingy defense of Virginia. I know they see them every season, but there's a lot of new faces on the Cavaliers they'll be looking at in this game. They've got one day is all they've had off to be able to get ready for this defense that's going to be thrown at them uh, by the Virginia Cavaliers. Cavaliers. And one real quick note, he scores about six and a half points per game. Talking about Pat Andre, the uh, forward for NC State, he comes off the bench, gives him good numbers as far as uh, minutes on the floor is concerned. And again, about six and a half points per game off the bench. He's questionable. He may not play in this one, which would shorten that bench for the Wolfpack. And as far as Virginia, I mentioned the defense. Listen, I know they're not having a sizzling great start to the year, so to speak. They did pick up a big win to snap a skid uh, over the weekend over Georgia Tech, but they still give up just 33% shooting on their home floor 27 percent from area code three they allow less than 48 points per game on their home court they're the better rebounding team at home than NC State is on the road, that's for sure. And I love the assist-turnover ratio. You know, that's one of my favorite tools in handicapping. Well, they force 14 turnovers per game, a little bit more than that. That might not sound like a lot, but when you're talking about a, a, a tempo that's you know, a lot more, a lot slower, I guess you could say, than others, the fact that they force over 14 turnovers and only allow eight assists per game is pretty impressive with that deliberate approach that they take. Also wanted to mention, when they go up against teams that are considered up tempo which are those that you know shoot at least 62 times per game and NC State certainly does that they also do score some points they've actually gone 15 and 5 against the spread against these up tempo teams they throw a little wrench into that offensive system and they get the and they get the job done so it's right around like I said if you like NC State you better grab four and a half and nothing less if you like Virginia you better
literally no, no more than four and nothing more because both numbers are out there right now as I cut this video. We're going to recommend a play on Virginia minus the points as they look, at make, look to make it two straight wins in conference play. That's it for today. Uh, again, go check out my action that's going on at uh, DocSports.com on Monday. The NBA, which I am definitely involved with, with two games, will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10, p 10 a.m. Pacific. So anytime after 1 p.m. Eastern, you can grab those plays and check out my homepage at DocSports.com uh, for college basketball. I might be involved in one play. Haven't done it yet, but we might be, and you'll be able to see whether we are or not by 11.30 a.m. Eastern on Monday. It's going to do it for me. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column right back here Tuesday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.